Sustainable Happiness. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 325. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is a weekly progress update number 325, June 16th, 2019 edition. Uh, One Community's mission, as we introduced here in the intro, is to bring together people with consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build self replicating and sustainable teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today, what I want to talk about specifically is sustainable happiness. A lot of people don't realize that one community, uh, we built one community with a lot of research that went into what are the foundations of happiness. And one community is meant to be an evolution of sustainability that incorporates the emotional foundations of sustainability in along with the physical foundations of sustainability. So the physical foundations of sustainability are our needs for survival, food, energy, and housing. But the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as most important and have incorporated into our open source tools and resources and blueprints and do-it-yourself instructions for replicating everything it is that we're designing and that are foundational to the, the infrastructure, the creation of one community as a complete model are highest good approaches to fulfilled living, highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, and highest good approaches to true earth stewardship. By putting all these things together with the physical foundations to create a model of living that we think that most people will consider to be significantly better than the way that they're living right now. And the reason for that is because we did a whole lot of research on happiness and what it would take to create sustainable happiness. We realize that most people don't have enough time to do the things that they want to do, or they can't afford to do the things that they want to do. But we, they wish that they had more people around them, uh, their closest friends and family, by them more, that they could spend more time with the people that they care about, that they had more variety in their life. And so through our research, we looked at a whole bunch of different models. And we, we found that the, the six human needs model was the one that we thought was most encompassing and most appropriate. And the six human needs model, which we call Foundations of Fulfillment, and there's a whole page on our website about this, uh, takes the six human needs and identifies them as growth, connection, contribution, significance, certainty, and variety. As the things that people need most in their life and constantly in their life to be happy, to feel fulfilled. And those ideas, the growth, the connection, the contribution especially, and the variety especially, are built into what one community is creating as, as pillars of what it is that we're doing so that people living within these environments will enjoy life more than people living outside of these environments. And so if you break down each one of those, the growth, the idea that our model is designed to provide an environment that is a full immersion experience that has all kinds of opportunities for growth and development every single day within walking distance, that's something that is really hard to accomplish outside of a community model. Major cities have something like that. You have to drive to those things. And then there's barriers to participating in them, financial barriers and time barriers and things like that. Another big aspect of our project is connection. You know, connection to each other, building a community environment where people are working together to accomplish something bigger than themselves, which leads into contribution, which is that we're contributing not only to our own happiness, but to the happiness of our community, to the happiness of our local and regional community, and global happiness as well, by open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're doing and sharing it with people that want to come and visit and experience one community so people can take the aspects of one community that they like and replicate them for themselves. And that leads right into contribution which is everything that we're doing is meant to contribute to the forward movement of society towards a sustainable civilization, a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. And everything that you see in the background of this video is about that. It's about creating sustainable infrastructure that is replicable, do-it-yourself replicable, that can be built anywhere in the world, and building self-sufficient and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs all around the world. Self-replicating because we're designing them to be easy enough, affordable enough and to demonstrate them as attractive enough through all this fulfilled living stuff and everything else that we're doing so that the idea will spread on its own. If we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, it will do that. And this is what we're all about. So growth, connection, contribution, significance. You know, for people that are interested in creating one community because they want to make a difference in the world. 
not about personal growth, but about making a difference in the world. They want to make a significant impact. One community is designed to do that. And then certainty. Certainty is really about safety and protection, knowing that your food is always going to be there for you, that you're not going to have a problem with food supply chains breaking down, knowing that your home is not going to be destroyed by natural disasters because it's built to be solid and more solid and more stable and more durable than traditional homes. Uh, knowing that you're always going to be supported as you grow old by people that love you and care about you, that your family is going to be taken care of. And so community model that we're designing, the community models are designed to provide that as well. And then variety, you know, and one community, the whole social architecture of, of one community is designed to provide variety. And opening our doors and inviting the public to come and visit 30% of one community designed so that visitors can come and experience one community, that's a big part of variety as well. So we have an international and global team that comes together in one location, but we're also inviting, constantly inviting our international and global family to come and visit and experience what is it we're doing, looking to add people and more brilliance and more ideas to our team so that we can make it even better and even more interesting. The more fun that we have and the more we share how much fun we're having and invite other people to participate, the more successful we'll be. And that is a big part of our self-replicating model as well, is to share that idea. Create places that are more fun and interesting to live in than the way that people are living right now. Teach people how to share that, like a sustainable bed and breakfast, but an entire community built around that idea that generates enough revenue to constantly expand and help others expand as well. And design it so that the more fun people have within that environment, and the more they share the fun that they're having and that environment, the more successful it will be. And so, wow, moth just flew in front of the in front of the uh, camera there. Anyway, <laughs> so that's it. This is this is what we're doing. So if this sounds interesting to you, if sustainable happiness seems like something that you'd like to participate in, keep following our project or get involved with our project. You know, this is what we're up to, and you know, this is our idea of sustainable happy, happiness is taking those foundations of fulfillment, the growth, the connection, the contribution, the significance, the certainty, and the variety, putting those all together in one model built on sustainable infrastructure and inviting people to participate that want to, and inviting people to visit that aren't interested in participating but would like to have the experience and building the prototype, open sourcing and free sharing, all the tools, the tutorials, the resources, and do-it-yourself instructions and showing people what sustainable happiness looks like so they can participate in the way that works best for them or take the components that they like the most, that you like the most, and replicate it in the way that works best for you, evolving it, making it even better. This is what One Community is out, about. This is what we're doing. And uh, so, yeah, with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of global sustainable happiness, open source sustainable happiness that anybody can implement in their lives, in their communities, in their part of the world for the highest good of all. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team rebuilt the whole Murphy bed changing area again in 3D and made a list of corrections, piece changes, numbering changes, and other instruction updates that were needed. You can see some of this work here. Brianna Olson, sustainability researcher, completed her second week researching the most sustainable insulation options. This week, she focused on digging deeper into the unique characteristics of each insulation product, ranking them from best to worst, and eliminating toxic choices. She also did more research into our values to understand exactly what it is and why it may not be the best way to define an insulation's efficiency. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, finished week 162 working on the Earth Bay Village. This week he continued designing the South Wall. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 55th week developing the Murphy Bed instructions. This week's focus was beginning final revisions and updates for the bed frame section shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Tanya Griffin, Aubrey Ann Boyle, and Allie Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Design Pros, completed their 25th week helping with the duplicable city center interior design details. This week's focus was updating some of the social dome loft furniture and finalizing the mezzanine, sunrise patio, and central pool area furniture. 
Uchiao Zhang, architectural designer and drafter, completed his fourth week helping finalize the City Center AutoCAD and SketchUp files. This week's focus was researching proper window and sliding door products, updating the AutoCAD detailed drawings, remodeling the pool transition door in AutoCAD and SketchUp, and updating the furniture details in AutoCAD. You can see some of this work here. Ron Wang, mechanical engineer, continued with his sixth week working on the energy modeling for our LEED Platinum certification and City Center open source HVAC design tutorial. This week, he researched the pool evaporation rate and calculated the thermal bridges for our original wall design using therm. Elizabeth Kahn, environmental consultant, also completed her 17th week as a researcher. This week, she continued researching the most sustainable faucet options by researching the sustainability goals, reports, initiatives, and affiliations, and benchmarking the sustainability of all the major faucet-providing companies. You can see her work here. And Zeyu Zhu, mechanical engineer, also completed his fourth week increasing the capacity and finalizing the rainwater catchment designs for the city center. This week he created the initial zonal graphic for rain collection, calculated the areas for each zone, and created the second generation 2D design for the water collection system. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued with week 13 of our development of the open source lake and water retention landscape design tutorial. This week, we began building the web page by creating the initial page graphics, social media imagery, and formatting shown here. The core team also began organizing and writing the final content for the GOATS page. What you see here is the editing and content organization happening on the behind the scenes Google Doc. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working with Brian Gilb, project management professional, fleshed out details for the consensus and groups of 200 plus governance structure of one community. We created the graphics shown here to explain how the consensus process will work with groups of 1700 plus people. Then Brian took this information and several hours of related discussions and created the first draft shown here of the Highest Good Network software charter. This charter outlines how the software will help manage the consensus process, the social architecture, materials and labor tracking, educational tracking and evolution, and more. Jin Hua, web marketer and graphic designer, created new custom AdWords campaign management reports and two tutorials for using them. And Emilio Nahera, digital marketer, continued with this 33rd week as part of the marketing team by verifying our Google Ads and Google Analytics updates using Data Studio to start generating reports, starting research for a new donations campaign, and creating the new One Community branding report. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of sustainable happiness, not just for us, but for everybody. An open source, do-it-yourself model for sustainable communities that support sustainable happiness uh, globally, cooperatively, and collaboratively. 
Uh, if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links about this and so many other things, everything we talked about in the video, visit our written blog, visit our website. There's so much information there, hundreds of pages of content as we continue to create this. We're 10 years into the process. If you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. If you'd like the easiest way to help out, visit us on social media, join our social media accounts, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this, U this, this uh, YouTube video. That's always helpful as well. If you're somebody that's donated, of course, we're on all the social media networks to make it as easy as possible. So if you don't know, we are on Facebook. We are on Tumblr, we are on Twitter, we are on Reddit, we are on Pinterest, we are on Instagram, we are on LinkedIn, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to join us and share our information. Uh, if you're somebody that's donated to our project, thank you for that. If you're thinking about donating to a project, it really does help make a difference. So we invite you to do that. We are 100% unpaid, all volunteer, nonprofit, non governmental organization. So 100% of donations goes to supporting our open source mission. None of it goes to paychecks for me or anybody else. We're all all volunteers doing this because we want to live this way because we want to see a world that's capable of living this way a sustainable planet a sustainable civilization and uh yeah i think that's all i've got for today so until next week hey thanks for watching to the end and we will of course keep on keep it on thank you